All right, well, you guys know I like Squirtle, so I'm excited to show you this new game mode that is just about to be released. In fact, if we've timed everything right, I think it's going live at the time of this video. Uh, but I got a, a message from the creator of Squirtle um, a few days ago, I don't know, a week or so ago, and they let me know that they are creating a speedrun mode and asked me if I wanted to try it out and make a video to promote it, and of course I said yes. And so I've done a couple of these now. Um, it's pretty fun. So uh, basically you go on Squirtle, and I think you should have this other game modes thing, just like right over there. Um, this is sort of a pre-release version of the site, so things could be slightly different, but I'm sure you'll find it. Um, special game modes, uh, Squirtle speedrun. So we're gonna start a speedrun. Now we're not actually starting. It says timer starts when you type. So the way this works is it's like normal Squirtle, which I guess I should explain quick. Normal Squirtle is like Wordle on a grid. We have six words here. We're gonna guess a row and a column at the same time. So it's just like your normal daily or free play Squirtles, but you have to do three puzzles and it gives you a score. It's sort of a combination of speed and number of guesses left. You, so if you go a little bit slower but do it in fewer guesses, you can actually get a higher score than if you go fast and use all your guesses, but um, it's a combination of the two. So if you use fewer guesses but go really slowly, you're still gonna get a lower score. So you have to go quickly but efficiently is the idea. So um, pretty cool, and you do three puzzles because um, I guess it just makes it a little bit uh, more, you know, you could do one puzzle super fast just with a couple lucky guesses. So this kind of evens out all of your scores. You're not gonna have one puzzle that's super fast and one that's super slow. They'll be a little more, I guess, I don't know. Um, or maybe one puzzle is just too fast. But at any rate, it's three puzzles is the way it works. Um, and I think that's about all we need to know. So I think a three word start is the way to go with this um, because you can kind of do three words really quick and try some things and then you're back to the beginning again where you've got some clues because if you just start with one, a lot of times I'll start with one word like store and then think about my second guess but you don't have that much information yet so I think that's a good way to do it. I don't know, I have, I've only done a couple of these so. So knowing that I usually like to start with store on Squirtle puzzles, um, I decided, and I like to do a Y in the bottom right corner, so I decided uh, I, the one I've been doing the last couple tries is store punch, and then daily. I think that's good. I believe that is 15 unique letters. Uh, I think so. <laughs> but if not, it's good letters, and it's all the vowels, and it gets some good letters in some good places, I think, because like E will be, we'll be checking E for the last row and column, as well as the first row and column, which is good. The Y in the bottom right is always good, so I think there's some good options in there. All right, so the timer will start when I start typing. So store, punch, and Daily, we got a couple greens, there's a bunch of blacks, that's never good. Uh, there's a T, it's not at the beginning, it's not second, it's probably, mm, I think T after the R would be the best. There's a C over here, we know that. There's an H, which is probably at the end after the C. We've got an E, could be here. Ooh, in here we've got a U and an N. Oh, there's a U up here. U up here, if that's an E. Oh, that could be a, that could be a U. Uh, I think E is better there though, I like E better there. Um, there's an E, maybe here we could do, ooh, um, R, R, we could do ranch. Ranch would be really good there. This could be, oh, what would this be? Um, there's an O across here. It's not third. O, N isn't bad. All right, we've got a bunch of stuff, but I'm not sure what to guess on this first one is the problem. Uh, interesting, so, Ooh, we've got a U here. U here. Okay, so there's U's in both of those, I think. So, what would this be? If this is something U, something... This would have to be... Ah, ooh, um... I don't know, I don't know. U something RT, it can't be UO. U... Maybe it is a T. Uh, with a, oh, we can't do an O down there either. Hmm, hmm. Humor, let's go with that. Okay, so we got some of the stuff. That's, some of it's right. Um, I don't think that's a T, but, ah, uh, there's a, okay, in the middle here, we've got a U somewhere. It can't be at the top, it's not second, it's not third. I don't think it's down here. I, mean, I think this is gonna be a U. 
Got an N somewhere. This, this, ooh, 10th. This could be an N down here with 10th. And I don't know what else to put in there though. And on here we've only got, uh, let's do bacon. Why not? Okay, it's not bacon, but I think it's ranch. There we go. And then this is, I don't know. Oh, court. Court? Are we gonna have a Q? Oh, we're gonna have a Q. What a puzzle to get. A Q. This is gonna be an E. Quart. Wow. Okay. Oh, the N is not down here. So this is an N here. Uh, this is anion maybe? No, anion. It's not anion. Okay. Uh, e N N N. If that's a U, what in the world is? If that's a U, but it's not necessarily. We could have the U down here. Uh, no, we can't have, I was gonna say truth, but there's no R down here. But it, uh, we could do teeth, teeth? Okay, it's teeth, good. And then, so what, ensue, ensue, and I don't know, okay, let's do queer, and ensue, and then what is this across the middle here? Arson, arson! Obviously, we have to have some arson in our puzzle. Store punch and daily. All right, well, that was a little slow on that first one, but let's see if we can make up some time on the second one here. Okay, we've got uh, a U. It's not going to be third. Yeah, it could be a lot of places. Over here, oh, we've got O, R, and E in both the row and the column. Both the row and the column, so that's awesome. Uh, it's not going to be R, T. It could be O. We could do other. Other is pretty good. Uh, other. Yes, it's other. Awesome. And this one has, okay, we did the E and the R and the O. Okay, so we don't know what else is there. It could be offer. Offer is possible. We could do something with an F here. We do have H, U, and there's an I. H, U, I, I don't really like, so I'm thinking I here. But, uh, humid? Humid is good. It's humid. Awesome. Um, this is, we're gonna have an I. This is probably the I here. Yeah, because it can't be, it has to be the I. We've got an E, maybe ridge. Ridge would be good. Oh, it's not ridge. Oh, and the E is here. Okay. So it could be an R or an N. There's no N. So R at the end, I think. Uh, there's no S. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Uh, we're back here. Let's do, do we want to do offer? I think I'm going to do offer. It's offer. Okay. And then this is, it's got to have a U, but it's not second. There's no I. Uh, there's no O. So it can't be. O, I, or U, it could be A or E, if we did A. Oh, no, 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 femur. Femur, there we go, and then rarer. There we go, wow, okay, that one was much better. Store, ooh, 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 let's type correctly, punch and daily, we've got a few blacks, not too bad, still no Ys. Uh, what do we got up here, we've got T, R, and D here, we've got R and D and S here. So, but the D can't be at the end. What if we did D, R? I like D, R. Um, dr dro what? Do we, need, we would need a T if it was O. Uh, there's no O at the top. So let's not do the O. Let's do D, R, I, or there's a T is the problem. D, R, or we could start with the T R, but then we would need to have an S and a D down here. That's not gonna work. Yeah, the T can't be at the beginning. D R O, no D R I, and we need to have a T. Ah, I don't know. Dries. Ooh, okay. Almost had it down here. This is drops. Maybe could be a P. No, there's no P. Could be dross, actually. Could be dross. We've got uh, D, R, we still need the T up here. There's no I or E or O. It's gotta be an A. It can't be U either. So D, R, A. Uh, I mean, we could do the T over here, maybe. Draft, draft would be good. Across the middle here, we've got O. We need to have, it's gotta be opium, right? Opium, yep. Opium, and at the end, I'm thinking T, I, we need a D, the D could be here, this could be E. Yep, this is E, because the red there. So this is Shide, Shide, good. 
And then we're back up at the top. Let's do draft. It is draft. This could be timid. Timid. Uh, what's down the middle? Ooh. Uh. 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 Um, uh Amici? Is that a word? Oh, it is. Okay, but it's not right. Um. And then we're at the end here. Timid. Let's try timid. Okay, it is timid. Good. Let's do dross. It is dross. We still got to get this middle one. What do we? What do we have? We've got. Ah. Uh, Oh, we need an L somewhere. Alibi, alibi. Alibi, okay. How'd we do, how'd we do? What was our score? Ooh, 11,601, I think that's pretty good. Uh, it's a new best, my new best, all right, there we go. So, uh, even though my first board wasn't very good, uh, I mean, I'm blaming it on the fact that there was a Q in the top corner. <laughs> I only had 2,000 points on that one, it was a little slow, 329, but, that middle board was really good because not only was it quick, I had a lot of guesses remaining. I had six guesses remaining. And so that got me a ton of points. And then the third one was just sort of middle of the road. But I think, um, you know, I don't know what a score, what score is good. Um, my experience so far is that, you know, 10,000 was my previous best. Um, you know, my best single puzzle was 6,000. And it usually seems like in the, you know, handful that I've done, I haven't done very many of these. Uh, in the handful I've done, it seems like you're gonna have one that's bad for sure, out of the three. You're not usually, I mean, if you get really lucky, obviously at some point, you'll probably have one where three are good, but generally you're gonna have one that's not very good. So 10,000 seems to be pretty good. I'm happy with 11, that was really good. So anyways, there you go. Um, that is the Squirtle speedrun mode. So uh, pretty fun, um, go check it out. It should be available now, link in the description to the Squirtle website, you should be able to get to it. Um, assuming all things are working now it is just being released as I release this video so if you're watching if you're gonna try it out soon after I post this video um, I wouldn't be surprised if there are a few little errors that they're gonna have to fix so just be be patient with that <laughs> um, but it seems to be working great for me I haven't had any errors so maybe there won't be any errors I don't really know I just know when you first release something to the masses oftentimes uh, bugs are found so Anyways, check it out. Let me know how you do. Uh, if you can beat 11,000, I'm sure many of you can. Let me know. Um, and what you think of this mode, if you think it's fun. I know some people hate being under a time pressure, so they won't like this, but some of us enjoy it. It's kind of fun. So there you go. Let me know how you do with Speedrun Squirtle, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Got a rotten string of bad luck ahead of me now. That is, if you believe in any of these various superstitions. Oh, okay. Well, that was really good on the left. Awesome. Ballet over here. Okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking. Now, alf alphabet. Alphabet. There we go. That's a good one. <laughs>